Well, Dale brings me out here in one of the little cow pens with some of our roping cattle. And you know, cattle to me really help you make a better horse. In other words, it gives them a reason to do so much of the things we ask them to do, to turn right, turn left, stop, track. So boy, I'll tell you what, we can really help put a better handle, get our horses a lot gentler, better broke when we use cattle. Yeah, you know, and cows, they most of the time don't like me because of spurbrisbia. It's a disease that I give bulls that turns like a 22 point bucking bull into like a 14 point herd bull is what it'll do. He's done. And a lot of yeah. cows, calves, cow, uh, you know, roping steers, they all sense it. They can feel mm -hmm. that intimidation. Like kind of like if when a, when a wolf might step in the pen as a predator, they look at me as a predator. <laughs> well, so that's... I try to be smooth around them. You know, I try yeah, to I intimidation don't... factor. Yeah. But you know, sure enough, when we work these cattle, you know, we want to take our time. We want to go slow in the beginning. Introduce it to our horses. You know, a lot of people say, well, my horse is just scared to death of them cows. But again, introduce it. Get him ready. And remember, confidence is something gained. Just like Dale in the buck and shoot. Shoot, you know already it's probably going to be a 90-pointer. It's going down. Going down. To right spur there. town. You bet. So to me, again, we like working our cattle slow, taking care of our cattle, you know, and then getting these horses really working great. And that's part of the cross-training process for me. You know, we like to do the round pin work, the ground work, the arena work, the pattern work, trail work, obstacles, and then our cow work. So again, I think the cows really uh, add a whole new dynamic uh, to our cowboying and, and making better horses. But, you know, Dale, Back in the old days, the cowboys on the drive and these cattle were out and there were no fences and they did everything they could to keep these horses gentle and relaxed. And, you know, you look at the old time singing cowboys, a lot of that came from those guys literally singing like when they were night hawking just to keep these horses quiet and gentle. I, I, I've sang to some calves before. You have done yeah. some singing. I've written a song that I you, sing to them. You, you've written a song? I have. Well, Let me sing it for you. I'd love to hear that. Yeah, I just kind of started. <clears throat> <clears throat> the sun is sinking in the west. I wrote this. <laughs> the cattle go down to the stream. The red wing settles in the nest. That, that's actually quite good. I, 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 that, that. It's time. I'm not done. It's time for a cowboy to dream. Purple light. No. In the valley. Have I sung it to you? Sings a sweet melody. Riding to Amarillo. Just my rifle, my pony, and me. And Craig and his pony. My pony and I must have sang it. You did not write that song. I must have sang it to you. Did you do you get residuals off that? No, not much. Not much. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, whatever we can do to keep the cattle quiet, by God, that's what we're gonna do. Craig Cameron here. Dale Brisby, on to the next one. On to the next. Look out for our next album.